During this video, we are going to review infant massage for your baby. Massage is most beneficial when done while your baby is in a quiet, awake state. This means your baby is focusing their eyes on you for brief periods. Their arms and legs have a relaxed appearance and their breathing is comfortable and steady. There are many benefits of massage. Relaxing and calming for all, helps build trust, helps prepare baby for feeding, improves sleep-wake patterns, can help with weight gain, can help with motor development, and can decrease infant's time in the hospital. To get started, you will need to find a time that works for you and your baby. Often families do massage first thing in the morning or after an evening bath. Find an environment that is comforting and relaxing. You may want to dim the lights and or play soft music. Grapeseed oil is preferred. If unable to find, use an unscented baby lotion that does not contain nuts. Watch for cues, both verbal and nonverbal, from your baby during the massage. This will help you know whether your baby is enjoying the massage or if there are signs of discomfort. There are some precautions you need to be mindful of. If your baby has a fever, avoid a lengthy massage as this may increase body temperature. A brief massage may calm and comfort. Do not massage over open wounds until well healed. Do not massage over skin rashes to avoid spreading. Do not massage over bruises or swollen joints. And do not massage over a broken bone until it is healed. Here are some backstrokes. Place your infant on his or her belly, supported in an open crib, blanket on the floor or on your lap. Fold down, loosen, or remove diaper. Place a small amount of oil or lotion in your hand. Rub hands together to warm both hands and oil or lotion. Place entire hand on their buttocks using equal pressure from the palm of your hand to fingers. Place your other hand on the nape of the neck and using a slow, steady, rhythmic motion Allow that hand to glide toward the buttocks. Once hand reaches buttocks, remove the lower hand and place it at the nape of the neck and repeat the stroke. One hand should remain on your baby's buttocks. This can also be done with your baby on its side. Placing the two hands, again, start with the hand on the buttock, fingers next to hand, the other hand again at the nape of the neck. Using a slow, steady, rhythmic motion, glide your top hand toward the baby's buttocks. And when it reaches the buttocks, the lower hand picks up, goes to the nape of the neck, and again glides down your baby's back toward the buttocks. Reattach, replace diaper. Here are some arm strokes. Place your infant on their side. Use one hand to hold or support infant's hand. Circle your other hand around your infant's shoulder and allow for shoulder to begin to relax before beginning the massage stroke. This will stretch the neck 
and relax the shoulder. Use a slow circumferential stroke towards hand. Bring the baby's arm out and across the body, ending with a gentle pressure inside their palm. And repeat. If you are left-handed or prefer to use that hand, you may hold and support your infant's hand with the opposite hand. Again, encircle the shoulder area, allow it to relax and stretch out the neck, and then begin the massage. Using a circumferential stroke with slow, steady, rhythmic pressure coming down to the infant's hand and giving gentle pressure inside the palm. Here are some leg strokes. Leaving the infant on that same side, loosen or remove diaper. Circle your hand around infant's thigh and buttocks and allow the leg to relax before beginning massage stroke. Use a slow circumferential stroke, gliding towards the foot and ending with gentle pressure applied to the sole of the foot. And repeat. Encircling the thigh and the buttocks, using a slow, steady rhythmic pressure, gliding towards the foot and ending with gentle pressure applied to the sole of the infant's foot. I'm going to demonstrate that again using the other hand if you prefer to use your left hand. You may support the infant's foot with your right hand, encircle the thigh and buttocks, and perform the same stroke that I taught you using the other hand. And input into the bottom of the foot. Here are some infant massage tips. If infant becomes irritable, adjust the pressure or speed of your stroke or offer a pacifier. If infant does not calm after making these changes, end the massage. Wrapping the arms in a blanket while massaging the legs will help to calm your baby. Wrapping the legs while massaging the arms can help calm your baby. A rolled blanket behind your baby's back to provide support when you are massaging the arms and legs improves comfort. Your hands should provide equal pressure throughout your palm and fingers with thumbs next to your fingers. And remember to always follow your baby's cues throughout the massage. An important safety reminder after infant massage, rolls are only meant to be used when your baby is awake and supervised. Always remove all rolls and supports. Remember to place your baby alone on their back in the crib, don't smoke, every time. And the crib must be bare, nothing in it. I hope you enjoyed this video on infant massage. For more information on infant massage, please speak with our Cleveland Clinic NICU Certified Specialist. Thank you.